assume we have a fraction, uh, improper fraction when denominator is bigger than, when numerator is bigger than denominator, assume this is 19 over 4. And since we have 4 inside 19 4 times, and it will be 16, and remainder is 3, we write three, th number 3, and um, denominator is staying unchanged. Um, another example is uh, 50 over 7. And since we have 7 inside 50, 7 times, and it will be 49, we write 7, and 1 is a remainder, and 7 is unchanged. Another example, um, 35 over 6, and since we have 6 inside 35, 5 times, and it will be 30, we write 5, and 5 is a remainder, and uh, denominator is unchanged. Um, this kind of numbers, uh, this kind of numbers are called mixed numbers. Mixed numbers, mixed number, because we have a whole part in this number and fraction. For example, the first number by definition is equal to 4 plus 3 over 4. And 4 is a whole part and 3 over 4 is a fraction. Uh, this will be equal to 7 plus 1 over 7. And this is equal to 5 plus 5 over 6. Uh, so this is a mixed number with whole part and uh, fraction. Um, as I said, uh, seven and thirteen over five. Uh, here we have um, improper number because this fraction is improper. Improper because uh, numerator is bigger than denominator. And let's write it as a proper number, proper mixed number, with whole part and with fraction, which is proper fraction. Um, by definition, this is equal to 7 plus 13 over 5. But on the same time, we have that um, 13 over 5 is equal to, um, we have 5 inside 13 just two times. 2 and uh, 3 is a remainder. 5 stays unchanged, which is equal to 2 plus 3 over 5. And we write it like 7 plus 2 plus 3 over 5 which is 9 plus 3 over 5. Or in other form, it will be 9 and 3 over 5. And in this case, since this fraction is all already a proper fraction because numerator is less than denominator, uh, we have a mixed number which has a proper form. And here we had improper form. So we uh, always can write improper fraction or improper mixed number as a proper fraction or correspondingly proper mixed number. Another example is 5 and 18 over 5. Let's write this improper mixed number with improper fraction. This fraction is improper because 18 is bigger than 5. Let's write it as a proper number with proper fraction. 
uh, it will be 5 plus 18 over 5. And uh, in this case, 18 over 5 uh, can be written as 3 because we have uh, 5 inside 18 three times and the remainder is 3. And by definition, this is 3 plus 3 over 5. And if we write it, we have this and whole numbers we have that 5 plus 3 will be 8 8 and plus 3 over 5 and in another form it will be 8 and 3 over 5 uh, that's all um, often we need uh, improper fraction for the purposes of multiplication, we will study later. So um, we already know how to write improper fraction as a proper fraction. And let's solve uh, an opposite problem, how having proper fraction, write it in a proper way, or how having proper mixed number, write it as an improper fraction. Uh, examples. Uh, assume we have um, 9 and 3 over 5. Uh, this is mixed number because we have a whole number and a fraction. And since in this fraction 3, number 3 is less than 5, this is a proper fraction. That's why our mixed number is a proper mixed number. And um, to write it as an improper fraction, we perform operations. The first, we have to multiply 9 to the 5. 9 times 5 will be 45. And second operation, we um, write 45 plus numerator 3, and it will be 48. And result will be 48 divided by unchanged uh, denominator. And that's all. And uh, that's all. And 48 over 5, this is already improper fraction. So we can write proper mixed number as an improper fraction. Another example is 4 and uh, 3 over 4. We multiply 4 uh, to the number 4, it will be 16. And 16 plus 3 is 19. Denominator is unchanged. That's all. And uh, this improper fraction, like this and this, will be further used uh, for the purposes of multiplication of fractions. It was everything I wanted to talk about for this tutorial. Thank you very much for your attention. Like us and subscribe to see new videos on OpenMathCamp.